Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on how you will meet your soulmate, okay? So we have four decks instead of four groups. So if you'd like to choose a deck now, just to let you know that these two are oracle decks and these two are tarot decks, okay? If you guys would prefer a certain deck as well, but we have deck number one, deck number two, number three, and number four. So please choose your group now and let's get started and see how you'll meet your soulmate. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with this reading. So I got a really random message to start off with. I got the message of a penny, like a coin, like a British penny. So I don't know if you guys are connecting with anything British or anything like that, but that's kind of what I just got. No idea why, maybe some of you guys are called Penny. No idea, it just I got like a bronze penny. So that's what I got. So. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see how you will meet your soulmate. So let's see, how will group number one meet their soulmate, please? Let's just get straight on into it. Okay, we have the card of vision. We then have speculation. Let me put these guys up here. They're the main energies. And then we also have Seduction, okay, so the energy that you both are gonna be exuding is very strong water energy, okay? So for so some of you guys, you could be water signs. We have the sign, oh my God, we have Pisces twice and we have Cancerian. So a lot of you guys could be a water sign. You could be Pisces, Cancerian or Scorpio. Um, but for you guys, I really feel like you could be a water sign, but I, I feel like there's just a massive amount of water in this group. Bearing in mind, this obviously is a love relationship, so that water represents emotion. Therefore, there's going to be like an emotional connection between you guys. So I really do feel like the, I'm hearing the sun is coming up for you guys and the sun is coming up here. So I also just burped, so that's clarification. <laughs> so, so for you guys here, I feel like the, the way you're going to meet your soulmate is through quite a slow process, okay? So you guys are probably gonna lock eyes. We have like two eyes here. So, and this guy, this little sun guy here is just like proper staring. So I do feel like that is that energy coming through. So, okay, so they're saying to look at the outer circumstances. Okay, so the circumstances between you, how, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Okay, we just, this is how the reading's going. Okay, I didn't plan on this. How do they feel about you? How do you feel about you? Okay, lovely. And how do you feel about them? Obviously we're gonna get into a little bit more detail of how you're gonna meet them as well, guys. So don't worry about that. Okay, let's move this guy over here. Okay. I feel like you're gonna have much more of a stronger romance, romantic bond than, than they are because they've got quite a lot of um, issues with kind of trusting people. So I think that could be something that they're kind of working on, okay? So in terms of how you're gonna meet them, I feel like you're gonna meet them after you've gone through a time of deep inner journeying, okay? You're gonna go through a massive um, bout of indecision where you're kind of deciding what what what, bleh, what route to take and you probably can't really talk as well because that I really struggled trying to say that. So I feel like for you guys, how you're gonna meet them is most likely gonna be, is there gonna be like an external thing? I think for some of you guys, it could be a party, okay? Which obviously isn't gonna happen yet, but obviously this is gonna be in various different scenarios for some of you guys. So let's have a look at how you, they feel about you and how you feel about them. And that will give us some kind of idea of how you'll meet. So in terms of here, let's have a look over here. So this is how they feel about you. So I feel like it's gonna be work. I think it's gonna be something to do with work or the home. You could be working from home, but also you could be in, you could be an estate agent or in real estate, okay? Something to do with the home. It could be at night time as well. So this is about three different kind of things to do with this situation. So how they feel about you is they see you as somebody who's quite inspirational, someone who's very independent and someone who is quite extreme. So someone who is very, like they've got like, you've, you've most likely got quite an extreme personality. So you may be a fixed sign. 
uh, Leo, Scorpio, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. And I feel like they will feel very deeply with you. I think they may get a bit scared at first because you are somebody who probably reminds them of their past life. Because I do feel like this is a past life relationship. And I feel like the way they're going to see you is they're going to be so they're going to be so sexually attracted to you, and then you're going to be so sexually attracted to them. And they're gonna your eyes are gonna basically like lock when you see them. They're gonna be like you're gonna constantly be like staring at each other. Okay, um, they're gonna see you as somebody who's very inspiring, very independent, and someone who can basically just do things on their own. They don't really need somebody. So I do feel like that person's gonna find you very very attractive. So on your side, you're going to find this person kind of the same, but in more of a, a masculine energy. So if you are a feminine watching this, I do feel like this is more of a masculine energy. This is a, more of a female, gender neutral, whatever, but the energy is there. I feel like this is the way you see the masculine. Okay, so I feel like you see somebody who's quite an authoritative figure. They could be your boss as well. Um, but also there's somebody who is going to be assertive to you, okay? You're going to also be extremely sexually attracted to them as well. And you're going to see them as, you're going to see them as somebody who, um, is going to be very emotionally fulfilled, very financially fulfilled. I think you see them as somebody who is also financially fulfilled. You look at this person, you think this person's probably got a lot of dollar, got a lot of money, um, and most likely going to be quite wealthy. It doesn't have to be in a financial way. It can be like wealthy in an emotional way. They could be just very, very happy. But you see them as somebody who is very, very strong, confident and assertive. They will most likely make the move on you. Um, and I think the extremism isn't something bad, by the way, guys. It definitely just feels like something that um, is very much to do with the way you, you communicate. So you could be quite a loud person, but also the way you speak is very kind of, um, for some of you guys, it feels like you, you guys really talk with a lot of assertion, okay? So you talk with a lot of kind of, um, how do I say this? Can you tell me how to say this, spirit guides? Tell me how to say this. Yes. You talk in a way that really explains how you feel. So you're not, oh, okay, so you're not someone to just kind of, beat around the bush that's what they're saying very honest person I feel you are so and they're gonna really like that and because of the sexual attraction it's so extreme like you both are gonna have a really hard time ignoring the sexual attraction so if this is a boss I feel like it can be obviously quite a difficult situation because obviously it's a boss you know what do you do about that I feel like for some of you, you could meet for a Skype call for some reason or like a zoom call so just keep that in mind, guys. If, if you're going to have a Zoom call with somebody new or a boss or somebody, you may see them in a different light. You may see like your boss in like casual wear and you think actually like, and then that's how you get to like know them because you they're out of the workplace. That's such an interesting storyline. I really like that. So interesting. Okay, so they're, they're also going to really like your body. You're going to be, you, I feel like you're somebody who's quite secretive. Um, you don't give away too much or you are somebody to protect yourself. Both of you are protecting yourself actually. Both of you are protecting yourself and not really giving much away. Um, but I feel like because you're a bit indecisive about this person and they're a bit indecisive about you, it can be quite difficult to obviously decipher how you both feel about each other. But because you both like each other, you're both basically indecisive because you're worried about how it's going to go. You don't want it to kind of maybe ruin the, the, the relationship you have before or maybe because you've been hurt in the past. Maybe that's kind of something you're worried about. But I don't see this being anything else. I see um, this is somebody who you're going to really be able to devote yourself to, somebody who you can talk about emotional things with, okay? So for the signs in terms of meeting this person, I feel like look out for stars, hearts, flowers, that kind of thing. Um, get grounded as well, guys. That's going to help you kind of be in this energy to attract this person in because you don't want to be too much in your head. I do see a lot of you guys could be Gemini's who are watching this as well. Also probably a Leo, I feel, for a lot of you guys. Um, I do feel like pretty much all the signs, not really specifically air signs apart from Gemini, but it doesn't really matter, guys. It's obviously how I'm seeing it right now, but obviously it can be whoever. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are just learning how to read birth charts as well for some reason. Uh, yeah, so this is your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry if you had my thumb click, by the way. Um, thank you so much for watching this reading. If you like this kind of reading, let me know. Obviously, I'm not going to do this every single time. There's like piles, but I do really enjoy reading from just one deck. I feel like it helps me be more intuitive and kind of bring more of like an intuitive kind of energy to this reading, this type of reading. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any crystal jewelry or a private reading, all my information's down below. 
and I'm also doing a giveaway but obviously this is a timeless reading so if you've passed that already don't worry about it I will be doing more giveaways in the future but all that information will be down below and I'll speak to you very soon much love group one bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading let's see how you'll meet your soulmate okay so so that this is the astro deck so let's see what we have here I'm getting a disco ball for you guys so just keep that in mind just seeing a disco ball how will group two meet their soulmate? Okay, we have Leo, 11th house. Lovely, okay. So let's pull a couple more cards. One more card, okay. Okay, lovely. So, weirdly enough, um, okay, oh, we've got Scorpio underneath as well, lovely. So, a very intense connection that's kind of hidden. I like that. I love that because I'm a Scorpio, so I really resonate with that energy. So for you guys, um, in the in group number one, I actually did a very spontaneous like spread. It was how you f how they feel about you and how you feel about them when you first meet. So I'm going to add that in with this group. I'm going to do it with every single group. But for this moment in time, we're just going to see how you'll meet them, okay? So I do feel like you guys could meet them around your home. It could be a place where you just go to every single day. But I do feel like for some of you guys, it could be where you work from home. You could meet them through um, some sort of group. So to meet more people you could be kind of joining more groups but I do definitely feel like for a lot of you guys it could be through work or school or for a group or friendship activity okay so I do feel like it's going to be through some sort of group because we have this 11th house it means friendships group activities community festivals tribe that sort of thing okay so for a lot of you guys it's going to be through some sort of large group for a lot of you guys you could be a leo watching this or be attracting a fire sign or a water sign or an earth sign i mean any of the signs really but the main signs we have is capricorn scorpio and leo leo oh my god a disco ball oh my god that's crazy whoa <laughs> okay yep okay thank you universe i literally just realized that thank you very much okay so I'm also seeing this swirl here. I'm really being connected to this swirl. So this is making me feel like you guys have been round and round and round and round with a certain person or in your love life. Things really haven't worked out and it's kind of been rep rep bleh, repeating. And same with this, it kind of feels like very swirly, kind of like, okay. So for a lot of you guys, you could be quiet, um, you feel could feel like this person could be like the opposite of you, but you actually gain a lot of balance. So it could put you off at first. There could be somebody who's quite serious or somebody who works a lot or is very focused on their work. And it could almost put you off, but actually they're just somebody who's very um, determined and they could be a fixed sign as well. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio or Taurus. But they're definitely somebody who creates a lot of sexual energy towards you. You guys have a very sexual connection. And this 11th house also re represents the future, okay? So I do feel like obviously you are gonna have a very good future together. I feel like some of you guys are really interested in space. This person's very interested in space. Um, but I definitely feel like you guys could meet through a massive kind of explosion in your uh, life. So I feel like it's gonna be a really big turning point when you meet them. Um, it could be a t big turning point in your life, basically where you are changing your school, changing college, university, you're going to university college you could be going to a new job um something changes just drastically in your life it doesn't have to be to do with career or anything like that but i do feel like there is something to do with your north node so look at your north node how does that affect you so say if your north node is in leo it could mean that you're working towards kind of being more extroverted and more wholesome and loving that sort of thing not to say you're not like that guys but if that is in your north node, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. That was just channeled. So I don't know if that's obviously 100% accurate with that north, like that particular north node. But I feel like for you guys, this is definitely part of your journey. This person is definitely part of your journey. And I do feel like they are going to be somebody who you, you settle down with. And there's somebody who really creates a massive amount of wisdom in your life. You're going to get so much wisdom just by being with this person because they're going to be somebody who really, really suits you, okay? And the relationship the is going to flow. It could be literally a, between a Capricorn and a Scorpio as well. 
um, but it does feel like a very kind of, it feels like one of you has quite a serious personality and the other has quite an extroverted personality. So I do feel like one of you is going to be more of the kind of outgoing, let's go to like a disco or something. It could mean that your friends kind of take you to a disco. It definitely feels like you're going to meet possibly in quite a creative way as well. So maybe you've got a creative job. That's how you meet. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be quite a creative person and that just kind of pushes you on your path. Um, if there's a creative thing that you want to pursue as a job, they're just saying do it. It's, something, it's going to be really good for your well-being, your health, your mental health, because it's something you really, really enjoy. They're saying don't overwork it though. If you don't want to have it as a job, you can just have it as like a side job or as like a hobby just to keep you going through this time. But also just to make you feel like you have something you're working on, you know. Um, you could be feeling a little bit lifeless right now and feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And this will help you to drive you towards your destiny because you're focusing more on yourself, you know, and you're not kind of, your energy is not kind of all over the place. You're not floating in the in space like this little space man. <laughs> this disco ball is really making me feel like it's going to be so exciting when you meet this person. It's going to be like, holy crap, I'm so glad I went out with my friends or I'm so glad I went out, you know, that sort of thing. Obviously, it's going to be, a, obviously, that part is obviously going to be when all this virus stuff is gone and sorted or at least kind of died down you know um we can kind of go out i do feel like your person's going to like cooking as well and you're both going to be really kind of connected to self-care one of you could also be in real estate or um in kind of housing things like that okay so that's the energy for that i'm going to leave these three up really for, yeah okay i like to ask my guides as well they want to say what about this guy no leave leave it in there okay gonna leave these three up so I do feel like you could meet this person just at a random place it could even be traveling as well I just feel like they're gonna be on your path so you're literally not gonna miss them okay so how do they feel about you when you, like, when you first meet how do they feel about you when, they, when you first meet oh that is so cute I love that that is so cute okay okay sorry I'm getting all loved up here okay so what else how will they feel when you when they meet you how will they feel when they meet you? I always hear this song. I'm going to say it again. I'm getting the song Lollipop by Mika. And I'm just hearing sucking too hard on your lollipop. Love's going to get you down. So literally don't focus too much on wanting something out there. Like wanting a boyfriend, wanting a girlfriend or whoever. Wanting a partner because they want you to focus on you right now. Okay. Oh, I love this. Okay. Wow, so this person's gone through the same as you, a massive, massive expansion. I don't know what that is, sorry guys. Um, they've gone through a massive expansion of the self and they just want to have fun. But not in the sense of like intimate fun, they just want to enjoy their life. And they, they've seen you and they've gone through a massive healing and they see you as somebody who's very balanced. They see you as somebody who... Um, they see you as somebody who is really connected to their healing and they've been for a lot of healing as well so both of you have gone through a shit ton <laughs> you both have gone through so much um and you're both really learning how to deal with this energy i hope you guys can see these cards let me just bring you out a little bit there we go let's get one more for your side okay lovely so underneath you guys are gonna be really empowering each other i love that that's so good i'm gonna put that guy in the middle so on their side, how they see you is they love you. <laughs> They're going to really, really love you. They see you as a potential partner. They see you as somebody that you can they can grow with. They see you as somebody who is very sex, very sexy. Your physical body is going to be like, oh, shamama, you know, <laughs> really, really attractive. And they're going to see you almost like how Dorothy saw the Emerald City, like a, a, a place called home, like a place of um, saviour almost. And I feel like it's been a really long journey for this person. So I think they're going to really just really appreciate you and they're just, they see you as somebody who they're going to have loads and loads of fun with and they're really enthusiastic and they're going to feel really lucky. You, they could be a teacher as well. You could be a teacher in some way. It doesn't have to be like in a school, can be like a spiritual teacher, a Reiki master, that kind of deal. So how you see them is you see them are same way pretty much with a cancer and the moon. I mean, I have cancer and the moon and it's a very interesting placement, let me just say that. But it does make, I mean, not to float my own boat, but it does make us extremely caring. But also, it's like very, it's kind of like a mothering energy, okay? So I do feel like you're going to see this person as somebody who's almost like a father or mother figure. You know, it doesn't 
really matter about the gender, but you see this person as somebody who can look after you. Uh, you see them as balanced and harmonious as well. They probably have a really good sense of style, a really good sense of clothing, and you may meet them through social media. I think you may talk to them first. Doesn't No, no, no. Not for all of you guys. If you think, no, I don't want to talk to them first, that won't be you. But for some of you guys, you can be talking to them first. Um, they could be a photographer as well. They could be a street photographer. Um, they could be somebody who actually used to live on the street. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you guys... For like only like a couple of you it could have been somebody who's had quite a rough life and they've kind of bounced back and had like uh yeah very long journey but they've really learned from things and they're kind of obviously back to not back to kind of normality now you know a normal life whatever normal is um and yeah you are gonna have really fun dating this person you see this person somebody for potential to date and you also more most likely some of you guys meet them through social media um, and have a really good conversation with them. I feel like I can see you guys meeting in a group and then going off just you two just going off and like walking and having a really nice chat out in nature. Um, yeah, I feel like for some for some of you guys you could meet at like a great creative club or a creative kind of atmosphere and then you literally start talking and then you go off and kind of chill and hang out together. I'm seeing you guys eating a hot dog which is so random but I see that and also like fries and stuff. It, I do feel like for some of you guys you could meet this person in the summertime where I can see for you who uh, is a feminine or somebody who wears dresses I see you wearing like a red dress with like white polka dots and he's wearing like I don't know, like a jacket, like um, like a suit jacket and like jeans. So I don't know if it's very specific, but obviously depending on your gender, it really doesn't matter. But if it's like a male female relationship, I do see that in particular. Um, but yeah, I mean, so many uh, possibilities, but I do see, you might see this person as someone you can take photos of. You might see them as someone very photogenic. They might have a nice Instagram, something like that. They might, they might even be a photographer. You might be a photographer, that sort of thing. It can be various different things. So you also might like their hair or they might like your hair, but they've gone through so much healing. It's unreal. And so have you, like both of you have gone through an intense amount of healing, but you're, but together it says, here it says joins forces and strengthens. So both of you coming together will join forces and strengthen each other, you know, and be stronger together. I feel like that's a quote from like a deodorant advert or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. My intuition goes off, off goes off sometimes. Um, so you're gonna be really deep in your feelings when you meet this person. Now you're gonna be like, oh, whoa, so 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 attractive. Oh my god. I think for some of you guys, you're gonna be like, I could run my hands through that person's hair right now, <laughs> in a non weird creepy way. But I feel like you're gonna like this person's hair so much, and the same for them as well. Same for how they see you. Um, as I say, it could be a fire sign. Uh, oh my ear just went deaf. Okay, that's interesting. Sometimes when my ear goes deaf, my other ear is like ringing. So that's interesting. Um, you could be somebody uh, who is a water sign. They could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be, but I do feel, I do see that as well. Uh, also an air sign here, but yeah. D this doesn't really matter, guys. It's all kind of, uh, it's a general reading, so it will resonate with you guys in different ways. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Private reading uh, rates are all down below. Uh, connect with me through my Instagram or, my, or email to uh, get a private reading. Also, um, I do crystal jewellery at the moment. I haven't got a shop up yet, but it will be up soon. Uh, this is a timeless reading, so it might be up, I don't know, by the time you get to this reading. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. All, all my information is down below in the description box, and I'll speak to you very soon. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you guys uh, have for your person and how you meet them. I'm also doing how they feel about you and how you feel about them when you first meet them. So... Let's get started with this reading. So let's see how you will meet your person then. Okay, so group number three. How will you meet your person? Ooh, lovely. I love that. That's such a cute card. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna focus on this first. We're gonna pull some more cards. I'm gonna see what's going on here. These two, no, I don't want those two, I want this one. Okay, let's get a few more. Okay, so we have got a lot of fire energy here, which is interesting, and also a little bit of water. Oh, and earth. Okay, so pretty much all the signs. 
Okay, let's get one more. Come on, card, are you going to come out, please? There we go. Okay, there's the air sign. Right, okay. So a lot of you guys, you could have been going for a lot of heartbreak, okay? So the cards we have, this is the overall energy. So the cards we have here are the wheel, eight of wands, the chariot, queen of wands, five of wands, the moon, queen of pentacles, king of swords, three of swords, right? So for some of you guys, you could be an air sign. They could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be, but can be. Um, underneath the deck, we have strength. So for a lot of you guys, you could meet this person after you've gone through something that has really changed you, that have made you, I feel like for a lot of you, could have, you could have gone vegan. For a lot of you guys, I'm looking at this lamb and I'm thinking, it's so cute, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> for some reason, I'm thinking that. So for some of you guys, you could have be, I've gone vegan, could have changed your diet, that sort of thing. So it doesn't have to be, but some of you, that's what it could be. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, how you meet your person is you will have gone through a massive change, okay? Um, a lot of you guys, especially if, if you are resonating as a feminine energy, you would have gone through a massive transformation to do with your confidence, okay? And how you actually meet this person is I feel like you'll meet them through work for some of you. It doesn't have to be, but for some of you, that's how you can meet them. This is going to be, they're saying this is going to be a really random meeting, so I feel like this is very unexpected, and for some of you guys, I'm not meant to say how you'll meet your person. It feels like a secret. So for some of you guys, it's actually going to be so random. Um, I don't know why, but I'm really looking at this bat. So you could be connected with the bat spirit. But the bat spirit is actually about new opportunities. It's about looking at things at a different view, a different angle. Um, but I definitely see you You guys have gone through a massive, massive change. and Or you could be going through a massive change right now. But by the time you meet them, this is a new start here. And... This is like so, so, so happy and so fun. Um, this five of wands makes me feel like you guys are kind of debating whether this is the right person. But I only think this because you guys have gone through probably quite a lot of rejection in the past of people, especially um, people you're interested in. But also you guys have just gone through a massive, um, I feel like a lot of dramatic kind of strong energy has been coming up. Um, a subconscious energy and you've really been submerged in it and then you've come out feeling really really powerful and very peaceful um as i say a lot of you guys when you're feeling really good in money i think that's how you're going to meet this person when money starts to come in um also i do see this person coming forward with a quite a strong offer so if you don't know how you're if you don't know if how you're going to meet them specifically or you don't feel like this is connecting with you I feel like you were just going to have a message coming through from this person in some way. So they might meet you on social media. It could be that they see you in some sort of like club or pub or something and they ask for your number, that kind of thing. I do see this group being very random, okay? So it could be in very diff various different ways. But some of you guys, I'm getting you could meet them at a car sales thing when you're buying a new car. Um, for some of you guys, it could be at a swimming thing, like a car, like a car meet. Okay, it could be a car meet up, like you could have cars interest in common uh you could be actually this is what really random you could meet them <laughs> it could be no, no no that's not right okay what what is it it's something to do with counseling i don't know what it is it's something to do with counseling just bear that in mind sorry if you guys heard my finger click um it could also be through retail i'm going to give you guys so many different options because this group is kind of mixed i feel like a lot of you guys have chosen this group but for a lot of you guys, you're actually not meant to know how you'll meet your person, as I say, because it does feel like a secret. But it doesn't mean it's not going to happen, okay, guys? It just means that this is meant to not meant you're not meant to know. Otherwise, obviously, it would change things, and maybe you'll overthink it and things like that. Okay, so is there any kind of? Can you show me a scenario of how how some of group or all of group three will meet their person? I can see you shaking hands with someone. Where are we? We're in an office. I'm seeing an office and a coffee shop. You may meet someone through. Uh, work or something to do with work and you meet them in a coffee shop and that's how you talk and that's how you get to know this person can be like a meeting in a coffee shop okay i'm also hearing domino's pizza no idea why this is just what happens when i'm using my intuition very random uh also an ice cream place it does feel like somewhere that's quite social so it can be like a place where it does feel like a place of eating so it can be a pub a rest not a restaurant no maybe a pub in a restaurant okay a bar um a, ca a cafe 
uh, in a park. So random, but I do feel like it's, uh, yeah, random. This person could also like horses, you can like horses. They could also have yin and yang on their body somewhere or horses on their body like a tattoo. Um, it feels like this person's very determined to meet you though. You're really determined to meet them. I feel like they're more determined to meet you than you are to them. Obviously, if you are determined, that is, I'm picking up on your energy also. But I do feel like they're so determined to meet you. Like, this King of Swords is looking at this Queen of Pentacles. is like, meh, don't really care. Um, and he's like, damn, Shamama, you pretty. <laughs> You're a pretty girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But that's that's what I'm feeling. But this Three of Swords is going to be no more. This is you guys just feeling a little bit insecure about this person. Because you've been through so much. Or because you may just have debates, you know, about, about love, you know. But this person's going to really make you feel like they're going to take your hand. They're going to be like, look, this is going to be amazing. Just trust me. OK, um, but yeah, some of you guys are just feeling really good about your love life as well. Even if you're single, you're just enjoying your life and being really happy. So let's have a look at um, how they feel about you and how you feel about them when you first meet them. OK, and I've done this for both other groups and it's been so interesting. So I really want to see what's going to happen for you guys. So let's have a look how this person feels about you when you meet them. For some reason I'm seeing a skipping rope, but no idea why, but that's what I'm seeing. You could be working out at the gym and they meet you and they see you. You know, some of you guys could be doing skipping. All those rope things, you know, those people those ropes that people do that with, like they're really big, chunky, heavy ropes. I think it's to do with arm workouts. I've never used them before, but um, they look really interesting. So I'm hearing I'm seeing a treadmill as well. So how they see you, how they see you. I keep seeing like coffee shops and it could even be a cafe in a gym that you meet them oh my god guys i'm so sorry i'm giving you so many options but yeah i'm also seeing that swimming is coming back again so for some of you guys it could be that you're swimming somewhere and you meet them there so just obviously this is a general reading guys so i'm obviously picking up on various different energies so just take it as it resonates this person most likely works from home or you work from home. Okay, I really love this picture. It's so beautiful. So do you want any other cards? The same, what, three more? Okay, so three more. Okay, so let's get one more. Okay, let's move you guys out because I really want you to see all these cards. Let me just move this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so. Okay, so let's pull from how you see them. They see you though, they see you, they, they, keep, they, keep, they keep saying in my head, they see you, they see you. So they're, you might not know this person might be looking at you, but some of you guys are going to be like, this person keeps looking at me, I don't know why, they're so attractive. I think you guys are going to be the shy ones. Okay, so let's get a couple more. Right, so you're going to see this person somebody who you really like and therefore it freaks you out because you like them so much. But I do see you kind of having a debate, okay? Um, I'm hearing they might affect my finances, so you might think I just want to work. Like, you don't, I don't want to kind of focus on love right now, but actually you're going to feel really good and they're probably going to take you out of like a really horrible place that you've been in like emotionally about love in general but also they're going to make you feel very safe and comfortable so you have nothing to worry about on the way they see you is they see you as somebody who's really stable somebody who's they can rededicate their life to both of you have 10 and they're both like really good cards so you have the 10 of cups on your side of how you see them and then we have the Ten of Pentacles and how they see you. So you're more the feminine on this side and we've got the masculine here. So you could be a feminine watching this. I resonate as a female energy. It doesn't have to be a female, but it can be just the feminine energy. But here we have like a massive amount of like seduction and feeling really good. This is a brand new start. Somebody, they're going to see you as somebody they can really start their life with. Someone they can really be dedicated to. And they see you as somebody who is very independent and really kind of financially stable, even if you don't have work or anything, even if you don't work. They just see you as somebody who is just very independent. They see you as somebody who's really balanced in their masculine and their feminine energies. Um, so the sun being the masculine, the moon being the feminine. I love that combination. I love that I just recently figured that out or obviously learned it, that obviously the sun is masculine and the moon is feminine. I was like, how have I not known this? I think it's crazy. I love it. So they see you as somebody who's very determined to... Um, kind of they want to meet up with you they really want to meet up with you they really want to start something new they're very enthusiastic about you and you're they see you as somebody who's really fun very gentle very carefree someone who who could really take care of them and they could take care of you 
and they also see you as somebody who they can work through different stages of life with not just kind of the intimate levels it'll be extremely deep extremely emotional and I think that's why we have the moon here as well because that you see them as someone who uh, they can be you can be very deep with and we have like the yin and yin yang here so as, as I say female fem, feminine and masculine energies and it feels like you can be safe with them you can really be vulnerable and open up to them and really kind of be the like talk about your deepest thoughts because next to it we have the ten of cups so you feel very comfortable and we also have the page of cups so you see them as someone very cute very maybe even younger than you it might not be but you see them as somebody who they, you can have fun with who you can have like quite childlike energy um and it's funny how we have two it's another queen yeah we have two queens here so both of you are literally mirroring each other in different ways so you could be opposites but also like really similar. So say you could be like like a Taurus and a Scorpio, that kind of thing, or a Cancer and I don't know, like a, a Capricorn. You could be quite different in your personalities, but actually when you come together, you're very, very grounded. So we actually have a fire sign and an earth sign here. Um, but yeah, you this person sees you as someone very balanced, very fun. Yeah, and just really, really cute and creative. They, they see you as someone who really takes things and uses it to their potential to, to your potential so say like you have a creative idea they see you as somebody who can use that for work um or just yeah very inventive they see you as someone very inventive very uh, um, individualistic um independent someone they've never met before i feel okay so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you would like a private reading all my information is down below i also do crystal jewelry so hit me up if you'd like any custom jewelry made and i'll speak to you very soon much love Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see how you'll meet your person. Also, for the other groups I have done, how they feel about you and how you feel about them. So that's been really, really fun. So I'm going to do that as well. So first of all, we're going to do how you will meet them. So how will group number four meet their person? Beautiful. We've had a lot of wheels in the uh, groups today, which has been really fun. So I love that. So we have the wheel and like the world. Yep, literally. Okay. <laughs> They're like, okay, just clarifying. We're just clarifying that we want the world again here. Okay, so massive amount of movement forward, massive amount of a new start. Um, just burped, so that's clarification. Holy, holy wow, just just wow. I'm trying not to swear. Sometimes I just hold myself back in terms of swearing. So I'm like, I don't know, just got to be PG for YouTube. But you know, here we are. So we then have the moon here as well. So wow, this is lovely. This is really lovely. It's funny because every single group has got like really positive cards, but also like we normally have this kind of anxiety edge to it. So for a lot of you guys, you could kind of feel anxious when you meet this person just because it's so amazing and so great. So some of you guys, you could be a Cancerian want or wanting a fire sign. You could be wanting a Cancerian, that kind of thing. I feel like for you guys, um, this is just a very interesting group. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit slightly. A new start for you guys. And the chariot is showing me that you're moving forward fearlessly. Okay, you're moving forward really, really fast. And there's going to be a very strong magnetic attraction between you two. So how will you meet this person? I think you'll meet them through something creative or something to do with work. Okay, for a lot of you guys, it could be through a friend as well. It doesn't have to be through an exact like your friend. It could be like a friend of a friend could be even through like a cousin, like your cousin's friend's brother's friend, I don't know, something like that. It could be like a like a kind of ripple effect here. Um, but I do see this person could also be through work. I just think this person is so enthusiastic about you. I don't think it even matters how you'll meet them. That's what they're basically saying to me. But obviously this is a different reading. So this, this is what you want to know. You want to know how. So I think the answer is in this card. So let's see what this is all about. Why are you anxious? work it's to do with work i think you're meeting them through work yeah i think so not for everyone but for a lot of you guys you are meeting them through because you've worked a lot on your career and you've worked on yourself that is how you'll meet them because you're ending an old cycle and you're starting a new one i'm getting so hot oh my god i'm getting so hot with this group Whew, okay sorry guys i'm getting really hot every time i connect to like a very intense connection it's like boom vicky you're gonna get very hot you're going to most likely get very hot with this person. And I think because it's going to be a trigger, it's going to basically, your intuition is going to be like, look, look, this is the right person. It's going to make you feel really hot. You may get a bit sweaty. You may get a bit hot flushed. So just be aware of that. Um, it's just going to be because this is a sign that this is the right person. Okay. They're saying number five. So five going to be, is going to be quite important as well. And then number 10, number six, number three, two, one. Okay. Pretty much all the numbers, but 
but there we go so i feel like for you guys you could have been going for a massive amount of subconscious energy you could be just clearing and and clearing clearing out the clutter i'm hearing deep clearing and clearing and creating okay they're saying clearing and creating so you could have been making a lot of um of projects through your subconscious energy so you could have been like kind of working through that uh using creative projects and things like that and that's how you could meet this person um for a lot of you guys you can meet this person definitely through work i keep seeing that through work it doesn't have to be at work it can be just through work in some way so you could meet them through a colleague you could meet them an email could come in and that's how you meet them you can meet them at a coffee shop when you meet them for like the first time in terms of like a meeting or something you can meet them on a freaking zoom call you know i feel like for a lot of you guys this is going to be so divinely timed it's unreal like it's going to be like oh, i'm just going out to you know you know the grocery store and then you meet like before i go to work or i'm going to buy some food for my lunch while on my lunch break and then that's how you meet them that is basically how random it's going to be for this group i really 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 feel that I'm actually going to pull a card from this deck because I, I keep looking at it. So I didn't want to swap the decks. I've got, got 11 11 on the clock as well. I'm, I'm filming this at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> but I really want to get a couple of cards from this deck. And I just feel very drawn to. So, okay. Yeah, you're going to be really... Yeah, this is why you're going to be so hot. And I'm actually getting hot while I'm pulling these cards. You're going to be really hot when you meet them, most likely, because you're because this person is your counterpart. Okay, this person is somebody who you've been waiting for for a freaking long time. Yep, definitely through work. Thank you for uh, clarifying that for me. Okay, so it could be a Taurus, could be a Leo, could be a fixed sign, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but can be. Can be also a fire sign, Earth, you know, any, any sort of sign, basically. So this is the card that I'm really being drawn to, okay? Because you've been working so hard on yourself and your happiness, this is why this person's coming in at this time. And it's because you've been working on your well-being, your health, you've been of service to people, you've been helping, and I feel like you've been really working on your daily rituals as well. You've been really working on really improving your diet, your, um, you've been detoxifying yourself and purifying your body, and that's been really clearing out a lot of, ev a lot of everything else as well. You could be clear uh, clearing out your house, you could be detoxifying your house as well, so that can mean in any ways. It could be cleaning, it could be decorating, it could be sanitizing your house you know just really having a deep clean of your house i'm just seeing a lot of you guys like wiping down sides so you could be doing that a lot as well but i really am being drawn to this self-confident uh flirtatious the words on this card so i feel like this person's going to be like that they're going to be quite flirtatious with you i just feel like this person's got such a cheeky smile that you're going to be like this person's so freaking hot like you you guys wow I just a rainbow could be like a sign for you as well and also like a fairground you can meet them at a fairground you can meet them in like a garden or a zen garden or like a, a park you know i feel like you guys are going to meet this person in the most random place but what i'm feeling the energy that i'm feeling around both of you meeting is is like a really calm energy like you're just so happy it doesn't have to be even happiness it feels like just you're so relaxed you're just so like Ah, just you know you know in the park boom they run past you know or you could run past them and you start talking somehow it just feels like so synchronistic you can also meet them through travel you don't have to meet them through travel but i do feel like you could meet them through travel um i feel like there's somebody who is foreign so they could be from a different country they don't have to speak a different language but i feel like they could have been born in a different country and then they've kind of moved over or their parents could be of a different culture or background and that's kind of why they look uh, maybe possibly the opposite to you or something like that there's some sort of culture energy coming through i'm also hearing like arabic and tribal energy completely different opposite ends of the scale but i feel like that's quite interesting i mean i'm, I'm hearing indian as well so for some of you guys it could be indian uh, but I'm hearing like a word and I can't, I can feel the word, but I can't see it. It's like, I'm hearing the word trek, like trekking. Um, why am I seeing that? I'm hearing, I've seen like the word trek, but it's spelled T-R-E-C and it's like, um, spelled on like, it's like a company name, like trek, trek walking, like a company. They could be, in, oh, they could be in charge of like a company who does like walks, climbing mountains and things like that. And they take like groups of people up a mountain, they hike. It sounds really dodgy, but it's not. It's like, it could be uh, somebody who teaches children uh, hiking and things like that and skills. And you could be part of that as well as a teacher or something like that. But I keep hearing trek and walking outdoors, camping, that sort of thing. 
they're just burped so you know that's clarification and we also have pleasure seeking so I do feel like it's somebody who loves to kind of be in the outdoors they love textures textiles kind of touching they're very like um for some of you guys they're very tactile not all of you guys but for some of you guys are very tactile um <clears throat> they could be a fire sign water sign uh, earth sign yeah pretty much all the signs yeah, amazing. Sorry, I went into such big detail for you guys, but I really was struggling with kind of trying to be more specific. I just want to get one more card from this deck. Yeah, you guys are going to be so empowered with each other and you're going to feel so confident with each other. We have Cancer here as well, so that's lovely. You're going to feel very nurtured by them, okay? So let's see um, how they feel about you and how you feel about them. Okay, I love this deck, guys. I just want to say I love this tarot deck. Like, I know it's the, it's the original, but I freaking love it, like... Just doing, using the other tarot deck, I just feel so much more at home with this deck. I just wanted to share that with you guys, just wanted to share. Okay, so, um, right, sorry, so how will they see you? Okay, so for some of you guys, they, they could feel like they're nervous and out of their depth. Reverse? No, I don't think so, I don't think so. Out of their depth. They could have been out of their depth in terms of their money. They could have been going through unemployment and then they suddenly get a job and then that's when they meet you. They could be, as I say, no, not as I say, I haven't said this yet. Oh my God, sorry. I say that sometimes. Sometimes I say, as I said, and I haven't even said it yet. It's like my brain goes at like 10 times an hour. Um, this person would have kind of, um, I'm hearing exited the premises. And when I hear that, it's basically like they've ended an old relationship, ended their old life. And then they found, that was the table guys, I didn't fart, okay. Um, they found a new job and that's how they meet you because they um, are on a different route. Maybe they run somewhere different than them. Maybe this, this this new job has caused them to move house, which therefore has caused um, them to meet you because you they've moved to your town. I mean, they could be like in the same the, the same pub that you're in, but, they're, but they haven't been never been there before. And you're like, how come I've never met you before? Wow, that's gorgeous. So yeah, they're gonna really see you as somebody who they can be open with, someone they can open their heart to, and somebody who they can really be um, active with, I'm hearing. So you could be the fire sign, they could be the water, other way around as well. It doesn't have to be, but can be reverse. Yeah, so it's interesting how both of you guys have a reverse. So that may have been reversed. I can still feel it may be reversed. So for a lot of you guys, you, you could you're on a very similar path. Um, he or they, whoever, he or she, I just went to say he, so I'm sorry guys if you're not looking for a man, um, but the masculine energy I feel, the person, okay, let's just go with the person, the person you're looking for has basically gone through the exact same situation as you, but they're showing it obviously in different cards, so you've both gone through heartbreak, literally, as I say that, this is literally the card of feeling out in the cold, you guys, you've been out in the cold, they've been out in the cold. Look at this. We have the five of cups and we on their side and we have the five of pentacles on your side. So you could have felt like abandoned. They could have felt heartbroken. Very similar energy. But both of you are moving out of that. Both of you are determined to feel happy. And I think you are. Reverse? Nope. Upright. So yeah, this, this is definitely going to be a past life. Somebody from your past life, okay? And I feel like um, they see you as somebody who is... Are they who can save them? And I know that sounds really bad and not and toxic, but it isn't, trust me, guys. It's like, it's a really beautiful energy. It's almost like a, a novel I'm hearing, like a romance novel. Like, they feel so deeply emotional towards you that they, um, they feel lucky to have met you. And they would have gone through, like, they, they feel like they can let go of the past and really be rejuvenated. I feel like these cards are actually matching up with each other, so... I feel like they would have come out of like quite a strong, um, I'm hearing like quite a strong storyline. So I feel like they could have gone through quite a lot of stress and now they're in kind of like a hermit mode. But this doesn't mean they're not available for to be a relate in a relationship with you. It could just mean they're quite shy, but it could also mean they're actually really confident, but you make them feel shy because they really like you. And you most likely may meet them in like some sort of social situation or they could be somebody who um, is just very, they could be very extroverted, but in some ways they can, yeah, for some, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting so many messages, but it's just because it's a general reading. So for some of you guys, they could be somebody who's quite serious and they see you as somebody they can be with, but obviously they have this heartbreak going on um, because they, they have this going on, but it's in the reverse. So it's like, they have, they have it there in the background, kind of running subconsciously, 
Um, it doesn't affect them, but it, it does kind of cause them to have trust issues. But that's only because you've just met them, okay? It's literally just because you've just met them. It's nothing kind of major or anything. Um, but for some of you guys, this group, this person here, whoever this is, uh, like male or female, they see you as somebody who is very, um, very determined. And they're very determined. That's why they like you. Um, so you see them, I say, very determined, um, quite a authoritative figure, okay? So someone who's quite stable, someone who is, um, you see them as somebody who is uh, very invested. They, you, they're invested in work a lot of the time and, they, and you like that because you can see how determined they are in terms of their career. You see them as somebody very balanced. You see them as someone quite a busy person. They're constantly on the go. I'm getting a lot of Aries from the person you're, you're attached to. I feel like I'm getting a lot of Aries vibes from them. And you're more of like a water sign or an, or an air sign or earth. I don't know. It varies. I feel like you guys could be a Taurus or Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo. And then here it's like Aries, Sag, Leo, um, yeah, a lot of like fire around this group. It's interesting because you actually have the fire there, but I feel like it's more in this group. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, you see some this person as somebody you can have like, you can feel like a child with them in like a really beautiful way. You feel like you can be like your childhood self and you see them as somebody who you could have children with, you could settle down with. And they could be somebody who you may know from childhood, but also you could have seen them in a, in a dream or in a past life, okay? Um, and I feel like they are somebody who's, who is foreign, somebody who is from a foreign land. So I do feel like they may, it may not even be that they're from a different country. It could just mean maybe they look like they're from a different country. So as I say, their parents could be from a different, um, a different country and they could have just moved here or, you know, whatever. Um, obviously cultures all mix in together at the end of the day. But with this here, I feel like they've tra they've travelled, and you can see that on their face that they're somebody who's travelled a lot because they're very mature. Like this person that you're connected to is very mature, has a lot of life experience, and you really like that. They're very yeah, very mature. I keep hearing that. Very mature, very adult, very attractive, almost like they can look after you, and you can look after them. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm hearing. I'm feeling like a, a mature. Like almost like a dad energy like they feel very kind of um they you feel safe with them not in a creepy way like you feel safe with them okay uh in terms of like if, if you're connecting with a masculine energy so we also have the three of pentacles in reverse okay what is this telling me what are you saying so you could meet them through a friendship group and uh, through work okay as well uh they may be part of your call they may be one of your colleagues one of your work colleagues that kind of thing but for some reason, you don't want to exit the premises on this. Or I keep saying that. That's just how my guide likes to say it. Uh, you don't like to exit the premises on this because you want to be friends with them. You don't want to ruin the connection. And also that you're saying if it goes wrong, then this will mess up the connection you have at work. And it'll be really uncomfortable. It's nothing like that, guys. It won't be like that. I'm hearing like a friends situation. I keep watching friends. So just bear with me. Um, I'm hearing like a Ross and Rachel situation where you don't want to mess up the friendship but you really feel so attracted to each other. I think this is gonna this is gonna be so amazing, guys. It's gonna be so fun. Like, it's gonna be so amazing. For some of you guys, so random that you can meet them in Ikea, okay? Don't know why, but you could meet them in Ikea, okay? Or you could be going to Ikea with them and picking out furniture, <laughs> okay? I'm hearing, um, the I'm seeing the scene from Friends and it's basically where, I think one of the, one of the, friends say to Phoebe about picking out china patterns and then she gets really excited you know like um plate patterns and like you know things in the house and she gets really excited because she's met this guy and it's just all amazing basically when Phoebe meets Mike that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling um yeah beautiful it's just like I'm hearing I've waited for this for such a long time I can't wait I keep getting a worldly energy so for some of you guys you could be the one who's traveled or they could be the one who's traveled but I just keep hearing world worldly travel and I feel like I've got like a globe in my hand it feels really cool it's like yeah it feels like yeah it feels really cool so it feels like there's just like a very earthy kind of quality to the, to the person you're connecting to and they're very kind of connected to uh the earth and um their, their mind is connected to the earth that's what i'm hearing i'm touching my temples and i'm going like that towards the globe so i feel like um sorry my intuition makes me do weird stuff in my hands sometimes but it feels like you're connecting to the world and they're connecting to you so it's almost like you might you might be on the opposite sides of the world but you're connecting so it could be like a long distance relationship as well for some of you guys um, I'm hearing 
Um, I'm hearing travels. I feel like this person's travel through India as well. I'm hearing Mumbai, Dubai, Dubai. Sorry guys, I'm getting so many different places. But I'm hearing Mumbai and Dubai, and I know they're probably really far away from mm. each other. But yeah, I'm also hearing Australia, New Zealand. Some of you guys, I'm hearing a catamaran, and that's a type of boat. If some of you guys could want a catamaran, or this person wants a catamaran, I don't know. They could have sailed in a catamaran, okay? <laughs> Very random. I'm also hearing Baywatch, so I feel like there's a lot of kind of water energy from this. That's what I'm getting from that, okay? So, there could be a swimmer or a surfer as well. Guys, this person just seems so freaking interesting. I'm getting massive, like, Jack Johnson vibes from this person as well. Like, they're very chill and fun and cute and just so talented. <laughs> I really like Jack Johnson. He's so cool. Uh, so, okay, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this reading, don't forget to subscribe. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you want any crystal jewellery, any custom crystal jewellery, hit me up on Instagram or email. I hope you enjoyed this type of reading and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love and stay safe. Bye.